Good afternoon and happy Monday to all of you listening. This is our weekly update for shelter in place and COVID-19 for St. Francis Online. Thanks for listening. And we just want to say we miss you all again, um, going into another week of this really unique time and situation for our community, for our church, for our city, for our world. And yeah, we just want to stay in touch with you through these weekly updates. So today, April 6th, for our update, you know, we wanted to remind you guys that we're trying to stay in touch and to fill out the survey that we've posted on our website. You can go to sfatx.org slash online where you can find all of our live stream schedules. You can find resources to connect online with other um, other people in your community. And then you can also see our resource page for God in Our City, which is our new um, podcast for our parish, a, a show, a video-based podcast for our parish. Um, we'll be putting, trying to put up daily reflections in that podcast and these updates, as well as interviews and other resources. Um, we're hearing from people in our community, people who are already losing jobs, who are undergoing difficulty financially, who are lo- losing loved ones without getting to see them, even uh, being a, without able the ability to visit them in the hospital. Um, many of you who are missing church and missing one another. And we want to continue to be connected with you now more than ever. So if you could do us a a favor and fill out that survey just to let us know how you're doing and how we can best serve you during this time. Um, Also, we want to encourage people to revisit all the different ways that they're connected to our parish. So if you've never received emails from us, you can go to sfatx.org slash flocknote. Also, please be sure to check out our website, svatx.org, and all of our social media. Facebook is a big way right now to stay connected with us and get all the media that's coming out, all the different videos and resources and links that we're coming out with. Um, another, in other events, we've learned of Governor Abbott's executive order and decision to declare all churches and worship services as essential, essential for the common good. And I wanted to read a little bit from the bishop's um, announcement letter uh, in light of this. Um, you know, it's it's we should celebrate that uh, our governors and our um, politicians are acknowledging our God-given right to um, practice uh, our, our faith and to worship freely. Um, the bishop mentions that this is a right that's not given by the state, given by the government. It's, it's something that... Uh, is natural to all of us that we have that right to worship freely. Um, But in light of that, Bishop has said this in his uh, letter. I want to read a passage here, one of the paragraphs. With every right, there are corresponding responsibilities on the part of those who enjoy rights. Public health and government officials at every level have counseled all of us as a nation that the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic requires us to stay at home, especially during these next few weeks in order to prevent its further spread, especially among the elderly and chronically ill who are most threatened by it. As Catholics, we each have a responsibility to join with all men and women of faith and those of goodwill to do our part in helping in this fight against the pandemic. It is a civic responsibility and an obligation of charity for us to do so. It is precisely in this exercise of our right to religious freedom that I direct our priests and faithful to maintain the policy that was set forth in my pastoral letter to you on March 24th, 2020. And so this is the bishop saying that we acknowledge that the governor and our state is giving us um, this uh, right, to, uh, that given us this acknowledgement that worship is an essential part of it's essential to our, our common good to to the to society um, but he's still encouraging us in light of that in our obligation to charity to one another uh, to continue to stay home so with that being said this is holy week we're starting holy week and so things are going to be a little different um, we're going to be live streaming most of holy week uh, so you can go to sfatx.org slash live stream where you can see our schedule for holy week i just want to make some of the announcements palm sunday on april 5th there will be a live stream mass at 10 a.m. and a 1 p.m. Spanish mass. Holy Thursday, there will be a live stream mass at 7 p.m. Good Friday, live stream mass at 3 p.m. The Easter vigil on April 11th will be live streamed at 8.30 p.m. Easter Sunday, there will be a live stream masses at 10 a.m. and noon Spanish mass. Um, the Catechism tells us in paragraph 1666 
that the family, the church, or the family, the home, is a domestic church, that the church is the family of God. And so your family or your home, even if you're single, your home is your domestic church, that we participate in the family of God in a way that the, that the, the home, the family, uh, is, is an uh, imitation of the, the broader church, the church of God. And so with that, uh, this is a wonderful opportunity. It's a challenging time, but it's also an opportunity for us to revive or maybe for the first time begin practicing uh, uh, operating our homes as if they were domestic churches. So there are tons of ideas, uh, activities, meditations, all different types of ways that you can uh, capitalize on this during Holy Week and practice some of these things in your own home. One thing we've always done as a family is on Holy Thursday, we've always made it a point to wash all of our family members' feet. I get down with a towel and, and wash, you know, the little baby's feet, my wife's feet, and we do a little, um, just a little practice of that together and, and pray. So there are so many resources. So uh, a place I want to direct you is a little site called Google. And if you go to Google and you type in Holy Week Catholic Ideas at Home, Uh, You're going to come up with, I mean, there's so many resources, so many websites and blogs and videos with tons of ideas for you to bring Holy Week uh, into your into your home this week. So we really want to encourage you to do that. Uh, Also, especially during this time of Holy Week, we want to again remind you that um, our parish uh, still operates on your tithe. And we want to encourage you to consider giving online and setting up Faith Direct if you haven't already. You can go to sfatx.org slash give hyphen online. You can also uh, text a one-time gift if during a live stream service or during a time of the week, if your family has discerned to give maybe a one-time offering, you can text 817-587-1600 and offer a one-time offering, but we also are encouraging everyone to go online and set up the Faith Direct for your weekly offering since we're not able to um, to attend in person. And then finally, we're encouraging lots of different ways for us to connect online. We want to encourage you to start up or to continue meeting uh, weekly with your communities. So either using Zoom or Hangouts or something like that, just check in with people, uh, check in with people online once a week to pray with one another, see how, how you're doing. Um, we also are exploring the, op- the ability for us to make personal phone calls to every parishioner that's a member of our parish. Uh, I know the Knights of Columbus have been doing this with the Knights, and we are kind of asking if anyone is interested in volunteering to make those one-on-one phone calls, just email me. Uh, my email it will be in the description, but my email is emitchell with two L's at sfatx.org. Email me and let me know just in the subject line or in the message that you're interested in helping with these one-on-one phone calls. Uh, and finally, we just want to thank you again. Another week, um, not sure how much longer this is going to be like this, but we're all really adjusting and being flexible to this new situation. Just know that we're praying for you. Know that Father is still offering the Mass for you and that in emergency situations, uh, Father's doing everything he can to get to people um, who might need the anointing of the sick or confession. So the church has not abandoned us. The church is not cutting off the sacraments from us. We're just uh, operating a little differently right now. So please pray for our pastors. Please pray especially for Father, Father who is making sacrifices to to go and minister to those who are sick or dying, um, to to kind of be on the front lines for our community. Really um, want to encourage us all to pray for Father, for all the priests in our diocese and the world and our bishops. So thanks a lot. We hope to see you again next week. Um, And stay tuned to God in Our City, our new video-based podcast where you can see meditations that we're going to be trying to put out daily uh, to encourage you during this time. Thanks so much. My name is Edmund Mitchell. God bless.